God, I'd like to welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel. I speak with a lot of people out there who have a hard time entering into the wealth building opportunity and they, they don't know where to start. They, they don't know what account to start with uh, and or what products to put into the account. I, I think being interested in the investing opportunity is a great start. And on the Independent Investor Channel, we really strive to break down barriers for those investors that are interested and they're trying to act upon that instinct to get involved in investing. This is just one element of investing that could really work for a lot of people. And I think a lot of people would say, well, why don't I just go with a major broker like a Fidelity or a Schwab? You can do that. But there's some real unique uh, elements of M1 Finance that actually bake in some discipline that I know you don't have, and you may uh, acknowledge that you don't have them, but you may not want to hear that. And what I mean by that is M1 Finance really uh, initiates a program for people uh, on and puts you on a, a passive path to wealth. Uh, where you might think that getting into the stock market for the first time is just all about picking the AMCs uh, to the moons or the game stops of the world. That, that right there is going to leave a lot of people very frustrated uh, on what they thought investing was about. And it will be extremely unfortunate for them to not uh, find out what the uh, prospects are for a, a value investing program, a responsible program one that makes sense for the masses. This is one that anybody can do. This is one that I chronicle on the channel all the time, really just to roll out as an option to you guys. Uh, but this is a, a, a great way of investing. Now, the way that I seek out my exposure to the stock market, there's a lot of people out there that may not understand the sectors of the S&P 500. Um, it's basically just the divisions of the different uh, topics, for a lack of a better term, within the S&P. For example, technology, utilities, staples, right, such as Procter & Gamble, push out some of our products like Tide, etc., um, some discretionary names like Amazon, etc. So the companies are kind of filtered into these different categories, okay, or sectors, what I've basically done here is taken each of the sectors of the S&P 500, 11 to be specific, and I've split them up across 11 different pies or slices within the pie. And this is what I roll out to you guys periodically on the channel to provide uh, some entry into a real account. So if you're a new investor and you're just finding your way to the independent investor channel, for the first time, I roll this out for a lot of different reasons. A lot of different people learn in a lot of different ways. And this just takes care of the visual element of, of learning. A lot of people just listen to my videos and they listen to what I'm talking about. And I'm really trying to make the investing opportunity a lot more accessible for those investors out there that are interested and they just don't know where to start. And this provides a very streamlined way of starting and tries to uh, seek to avoid a lot of distraction that I think with the overload of information on social media can unfortunately um, end up uh, finding a lot of would-be investors falling victim to the temptation of moving away from what has historically worked in the stock market. Diversification, in other words, spreading your money out. Uh, seeking broad market exposure like I've done here, right? Seeking out a small dividend yield, becoming passive in nature and not trying to time the market. It's much more important for you to understand how much surplus capital you could parlay from your check every single two weeks or every month to go into a program like this. So it becomes less about finding the next best thing and a lot more about buying into a program that can make sense for your individual household. Now, make no mistake about it on the independent investor. I try to uh, really put individuals in the driver's seat, okay? And that's not, um, that's uh, intentional. I do that for a very, very specific reason. The more time you can log as an independent individual investor, 
the better off you will be in the long term because of the fees that you will save. This is a very inexpensive account. As a matter of fact, it costs nothing to enter into and buy these slices respectively. And it costs very little to own them over time at about 0.10 of 1% of, of, of 1 so very, very inexpensive. And the disconnect between being recommended to a program like this and what you would get if you went in and sat with a financial planner are night and day, okay? Financial planners usually will stray away from recommending sing single stock to you because of the active management and the lack of profile and tolerance that individuals usually have on the onset. So they will stray away from uh, that type of avenue, especially single stock and ETFs, that of which I'm going to show you here now because they're such low cost that the benefit to the individual investor cannot be uh, underestimated. Furthermore, the industry has been kind of built and predicated upon building a suite of mutual funds for clients, okay, which it can work for a, a certain type of investor, but the, the real niche is to understand that you're going to pay for those services over time and the management fees that are accrued year over year can really eat away at your profits, whereas passive investing like I'm going to demonstrate for you here can really help pay uh, the uh, pay for itself over the long term because it's you're direct connecting yourself uh, to the stock market over time. So here, if we if we jump into the account here and we just chronicle the holdings and the performance, um, this is done quite nicely. This was started uh, in March 5th of 2019. So just over two years old on this account. This has been passively funded over time. You can see here the starting amount, if I were going to go back, was about 1500 bucks or so when I started this account. So when people come to me and they ask me, well, how much should I start with, Ryan? It really is relative. This is just an example of a starting place of $1,500. And I would challenge each and every one of you guys that if you're serious about investing and the investing opportunity, to challenge yourself. If 500 is is your challenge mark, great. Um, make it happen. Uh, this just so happens to be a $1,500 uh, $1, example that chugged along for quite a long time. This was uh, being funded with small injects all the way through 2019. Got a little bit of a bump here. So this is probably indicative of a fund up here. And then this was the pandemic low uh, within March, early March of 2020. So you can see here over the first year of owning the account, I really didn't do a whole lot at all. What I did do is I took a fund up opportunity here during the pandemic low, and it looks like I funded it up with a $2,000 bill. Boom, got it up to $4,300 and allowed the good market and the return of the market to come back and really be conducive to some nice gains. And then here also another fund up here looks like in the amount of another $2,000. Okay. So they say, well, how much have you added to this account over time? The answer is here. The net cash flows into the account are $11,843. So, you know, just owning it over two years, we're up about $5,200 in the account. And I really want you guys to keep this in relative perspective. This is a program that 100% of investors out there can participate in. It really doesn't take a whole lot of wherewithal because the very bridge that I provide to you guys on the channel in that I've already put the products in place here. I share this portfolio openly. Uh, every video that I turn out on my M1 experience, I provide the portfolios for you guys. Now you can do one of two things. You can use the portfolio as you see fit. Uh, I am uh, affiliated with M1 Finance. I enjoy using the product and I don't mind uh, recommending those to would-be investors out there because I know that you could trip and fall into this portfolio and succeed with it. The other option that you have is to take this portfolio and use it as a benchmark. Save it for education purposes. See how it is that I seek out my exposure to the market. Track my performance. I mean, this is real. This is my money. If you wanted to track it, you could track it for free and not put any capital to risk at all. 
Um, you know, my pain can be your pleasure or vice versa, however you want to look at it. But I'm pretty confident in my program. And if nothing else, the results really should speak to themselves on how incredible this portfolio has performed over time. So we're looking at the top end here. I've asked this portfolio to be weighted in a manner that suits my investor risk tolerance and my profile over this small portfolio. And what that means is I've asked that for every $1 that flows into this portfolio, I want 14 cents to flow into technology. Okay. For every $1 that flows into this portfolio, I want 13 cents to flow toward the healthcare sector and so on and so forth until we get to the bottom. And, and, and I say, I want six cents to flow into materials for every dollar invested to this portfolio. So on a granular nature, I've basically broken down for you how the pennies can add up to dollars and how the dollars can add up to sets of ten dollars and then and then hundreds and then thousands. And that's really the secret to how I would expect that if you're looking to seek out success in wealth building to to break it down. And, and anybody who comes to me and says, Ryan, I don't have the money to invest, I, I think is, a, is, a, is a, a, a cop out. I do. I, I think if you broke it down to its granular nature and said, you know what, I can do $10 every two weeks, then that's a start. And that, that really breaks it down to, hey, there might be a few pennies that are going into each of these respective slices uh, if it be in the nature that I'm declaring to you now or in a capacity that you uh, derive for yourself to meet your personal needs, th then great, so be it. Uh, but at least you're starting and at least you can take some solitude in knowing that you're taking a step in the right direction to saving for your financial future. So I, I really appreciate you guys tuning in for these uh, Vanguard updates. They're, they're a lot of fun to do. They're very, very important in kind of adding uh, credibility to the fundamentals that I insist that beginning investors should be seeking in the market and not all the time be seeking the get rich overnight stocks. There's a lot of people that will be fast to come on and say, hey, I made all this money doing this. The problem is they don't realize how much damage that is actually causing because people who view that in the thousands come on and they think that it can be easily reproduced and, and it is not. It's very, very rare. And over time, those are those usually render a big, big loss. And you think people are quick to come on to YouTube and, and tell people about their big losses? Of course not. Of course not. People conveniently just tuck those away and they keep them a secret. And the totality of the stock market is to understand not only that it does go up in value over time, as I've declared to you in this video, but to also acknowledge and to control uh, the risk and to, to really understand the, um, the risk associated with stock and to do whatever it is that you can do to mitigate that risk to the downside. And we do a great job of rolling out the risk mitigation on the downside uh, for investors to really understand that stock market investing has two coins uh, or two sides to it. The trick is to find that happy medium for yourself over the long term. Guys, appreciate you tuning into the message and make sure and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of this video and share the message with anybody out there that you know may benefit from my approach in introducing the stock market to beginning investors in the right way. It's super important that our youth embrace the fundamentals of diversification, dollar cost averaging, and the importance of a dividend and, and broad market exposure, as opposed to the fly by the night uh, uh, method that is rampant across social media. Guys, appreciate you tuning into the message. Good luck in your investment future.